Hi everyone, let's create some quick CAD mockups in Rhino. These quick CAD mockups you can use to check sizes, proportions, and overall shape. The geometry itself is very basic. With these models, you can even 3D print them. You can check them in, in, in reality and see if they are you know, worthwhile exploring further and creating designs around them. So if you have an idea of, for a product and quickly want to create something, have something that you can talk about with your colleagues or with yourself, a sketch over for these quick CAD mockups are really useful. So let's jump into Rhino and see how we do it. So here we are in Rhino and we are going to mainly use solid tools and Boolean operations. So let's go into the solid tools tab. You can see here some new icons, new tools. And what we are going to use mostly are these basic shapes, right? So box shapes, cylinder, cylindric shapes, and maybe even spherical shapes. Let's say we want to create new phone charging dock for your desktop. We want to make that in a realistic scale. So first of all, we want to check how big it should be and create that cat mockup in the right dimensions. I'm going to use a caliper and just quickly see how big the phone is and what the basic measurements should be. All right, so now I know the size of my phone. I can mock up my phone and even use that cut mockup to see proportions in 3D. So let's click on box and then go to center or click C on the keyboard and press zero enter. And that will start our box at the center point of our model. So I now know that the width of the phone will be 70 millimeters, so 70 enter and then the height will be, or length will be 150, and the third dimension will be the thickness. So our box obviously needs three dimensions, and our thickness will be 10 millimeters. So 10 enter, and that is our phone mockup done. We can now add some round corners. So if we need them in order to see things better, if we want to have clamps, for example, that need that specific radius, I can add this radius. So let's go to fill it and we need to set a radius. So let's go for 10 millimeter radius. We can check that with the real counterpart as well. And we're going for 10 right now. So select all the corners and then press enter to apply. So this is now our phone mockup. And we can use that now to inform sizes and proportions and different features of our. So I want to move or that phone the way I think the phone should live in a dock, right? So I'm using the gumball right now. If you don't have the gumball showing up here in your viewport, you can all the way down to the to this lower bar and then press on gumball. That will give you the opportunity to change size, to move the object around and even rotate that. So I'm going to rotate the phone mock up about say 65 degrees and you can also press once on that rotation icon and then type in 65 that will do the same thing and now i'm going to reposition the on my canvas and that should be the final position for my dock for my charging dock so now comes the fun part and we can explore how different shapes interact with the real say the real phone and maybe I even have sketches already, maybe I don't, maybe I'm just going into Rhino and see for myself how different basic shapes interact with the phone. Right now, let's just create a cylinder. So I'm also going to the zero point, press enter, and then let's create a cylinder and see how you can now really judge the size as well, judge the proportions well. Let's make a cylinder that barely is wide enough to fit the phone. And then right now it's it has extrusions into both directions. We don't want that. Let's go both sides. No. And extrude that cylinder a little bit up. And we can also use a nice clean number for that. So right now it's extruding in 39 millimeters. And that is good enough for me to say it's it could be 40, so let's type in 40. So now I have a nice clean size. And what you can see is now the phone is intersecting with the with our model, with our cylinder. Right, so now we need a cutout for the phone in order to fit into our base. 
I want to cut through the whole thing once cleanly from the right side. So right now I need a cutting tool. And for that, I go to the right side. We can do that in a lot of different ways, but right now let's go to curve tools, use a polyline in order to recreate the outline of our, be sure to click on project. So that projects our curve that we'll draw onto our plane. So it will not be distributed in 3D space. It will be a plain curve. So let's click a few times in order to recreate that outline and close that outline. So we have a curve that basically represents the outline of our. And next thing is we need a little bit of wiggle room for the phone to fit nicely, right? So we can use a offset curve and maybe offset it for one millimeter. And that creates enough space so the phone will fit nicely. And with that, we can now extrude a solid again. So go to surface tools and we'll extrude the curve that we just drew. And now it's important to have the solid option on. So click on solid, should equal yes. You can also press S and enter. And also I'm pressing both side yes. So now I can see a preview of how the cutting tool will look like. But I want to make sure it should be just a little bit bigger than our base. So that should be fine. And now you can see a preview of the cut. Next thing is just using those two and intersecting them. So go to solid tools and here we have a Boolean difference tool. We're gonna press that, select the surface that we want to subtract from. So this is the base and next the ones that you want to intersect with. So not the phone, but the cutting tool. So press enter. And now we have a perfect cut through the base here and that could inform our future decision making. So we have this idea that I had and we put it into a really basic mockup of the 3D data. And now I can see and check if what I just had in my mind makes sense in reality, in, the, in 3D. Because we can cheat ourselves a little bit when sketching and having ideas in, in, in mind. So now I can see that things might not work as well as I thought. And here I can check them really quickly and make changes. So one thing, for example, is that this cutout doesn't look really good on the front view, right? Cutting through the whole base might not be the best idea. And so I can quickly now go to the top and repeat our processes that we just did, but in a quick way and make, make a smaller base that doesn't intersect fully with the phone. So let's go with a 35 millimeter base and then again, a 40 millimeter height. Let's go with that. And moving this piece over to the right and we can move that in a perfect grid, let's say. So let's press once on the red arrow and then move it 200 millimeters to the right. So now we have a nice overview of our different design iterations. And I'll do the same with the phone. So you can press any of these attributes. So moving, rotating or scaling with Alt. So press Alt and then click on the icon. We go 200 again, enter, and that will create a copy and it moves that over to the right. Now I can see this new intersection with the new piece. I might do a little bit of, you know, just moving things around how I think it, should, it makes sense. So maybe move it forward, maybe even make the base smaller and have these really quick iterative ideas. So now I can single these new items out. So if you go to standard and then click on the visibility icon, we can isolate these objects. So click on isolate objects and now I can work on that new iteration of my design on our own without any other distracting pieces. So now let's finish that idea, that thought process that we had quickly and create a better version of the one that we just had. So I'll just read this outline again, but this time I'm going straight up from that and finishing the outline for the cut. Again, I'm going to curve tools and offset the curve. And then with that new offset curve, I will cut the base. So let's move that over 200 again and go to surface tools. 
extrude straight, be sure to have solid selected, and then we can use that as a new cutting tool. So now we're gonna intersect those two with the Boolean operation. Go to Boolean difference, select the one that we want to subtract from, and then press enter, and then the one that we are going to subtract with, press enter. And this is now our new phone dock idea that we just iterated on. And if we put them side by side, you can see how quickly we can make decisions that inform our design process without really overthinking it, creating sketches, 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 and not being able to really validate our idea. So I hope you can see now how quick mockups in 3D make sense or to inform our design process really quickly and make better decisions along the way. So again, I hope you learned something today. If you did, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is selected so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. Thanks for now and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.